Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books and it's Friday and if you haven't read this book, it's new to you. All right, I'm gonna tell you a fairy tale. One day, years ago, long before Parnassus Books existed, I was cleaning out a desk drawer and in the very back of the desk drawer, I found a post-it note and on the post-it note, in my own handwriting, were the titles of three books Independent People, Her Last American, and The Leopard. I had no idea when I had written those titles. I had no memory of it. I had written it on a post-it note and somehow it got stuck in the back of my desk drawer. And I thought, okay, who recommended these books to me? Because people recommend books to me all the time, especially when I'm on book tour. And so, I decided that I would give independent people a try because, oh, that's what it was. Someone had just recommended independent people to me and I had read it and I loved it. And I thought, this is the favorite book I've ever read. Okay, so that, after that, I found the post-it note. And I thought, well, if I loved independent people so much, I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna read The Leopard by Giuseppe Tomasini de Lampedusa. This book was written in 1959. De Lampedusa had been thinking about it over the course of his life, but apparently he was a bit of a dilettante and he didn't get around to it for a long time. And this was the only book that he ever wrote. It's about a count and the sweeping history of an Italian family in the 1860s and the way their world is changing. It was published, he was rejected twice before he died, and then it was published after his death. It went on to become the best selling book in Italy of all time. Still true today. This is the book. This is like To Kill a Mockingbird or Catcher in the Rye in Italy. This is the book that every single person reads. It is such a wonderful novel and I read it for the first time on an international flight and it's the only time I've ever done this when I got to the end of this book I flipped it over went back to page one and then just read the whole thing straight through again there is a scene at the very end of this book about death that will make you feel so good about death it's the most beautiful comforting thing I've ever read don't miss this book. Let me tell you one more thing. There was three books, right? Because in fairy tales, everything happens in three. The third book, Her First American by Laurie Siegel, turned out to be every bit as good as The Leopard and Independent People. In fact, these three books became my three favorite books, but I'm gonna save this one for its own video later on. Thanks so much.